But what about French then, Carlos? Why do you want to um, learn French? Uh, because it's a beautiful language too, and and it's a hobby for me to learn it. I don't know if I'm going to use it in the future, but now it's only a, a hobby. All right. Very good. And so you're studying web design right now, or you've already graduated? No, I'm studying web design in a private school, but in August, I'm going to enter at the university to study modern languages. All right. Well, glad to have you in class today, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, Frank, can you hear me okay, Frank? Good morning, sir. How yeah. you doing today, Frank? I was chatting, but I now I'm I'm here. Oh. All right. Where are you from, Frank? I'm from Peru. Where are you from? Uh, from Peru. All right. What part of Peru are you from, Frank? Do you know here, Peru? I'm from Trujillo. Yep. All right. I live in Jaén right now. What? I so don't we're almost you. we're almost neighbors. Um, I said I live in Jaén right now. So we're almost never. Ah, oh, yeah. Just... <laughs> but One now, second. where are you? Where are what you now? Where are you now? Uh, in right now, I'm in Cayenne. Hello. Uh, uh, hear but me? I'm, oh. Yes. But I'm from the United States. But... All right. Let's ah. See. Okay. I understand. All right. Well, all right. Well, glad to um, have you here in class, Frank. Jorge, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, teacher. How about you? Very good. And I forgot. Where are you from, Jorge? I'm from Peru too. All right. Yes. And what part of Peru were you from, Jorge? I live in Lima. Lima. What yes. part of Lima? Uh, do you know Magdalena? Uh, nope. <laughs> Near to Miraflores and San Isidro? Yep, there I do. Yes. All right. Well, nice to see you again, Jorge. Thank you, sir. Danny, can you hear me okay? Yes, teacher. How's it going, Danny? Uh, I'm good, teacher. How about you? Very good. Where are you from, Danny? I'm from Indonesia. All right. How long have you been using CoLingo for? This is my third, third time, maybe uh, already two weeks. All right. And what do you think of CoLingo? Do you like it? Yeah, this is right. I like it and this is great because uh, this is uh, we can learn English with the online especially with the professional teachers like you and then uh, right. we can also meet with uh, everybody uh, from uh, other country also to uh, attend the class and then uh, to practicing and then to learn more about the English. All right. And do you work or do you go to school? Uh, one second. Uh, Frank, if you could mute your microphone when it's not your turn, just to cut down on the background noise, we can just hear you typing. Mm. So just mute okay. mute your microphone when it's not your turn. Thanks. All right, Danny, do you work or go to school? What do you do? Uh, I work and I uh, do uh, study also. Uh, I work in the restaurant as the waiters, and then after that, I uh, study also in the uh, accountancy university. All right, sounds good. Well, glad to have you in class today, Danny. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, Jorge, ¿qué tal si me ayudes a, a hablar con Manu? 
si le preguntas de dónde es, qué hace. ¿En inglés? <risa> Hi, Manu. That's the idea. Hi, Manu. Manu. Wait a moment. Okay. All right. uh, hello. Hello, Manu. Hello, uh, who are you? Uh, I am Jorge. Okay, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mexico. I am living in Mexico City. All right, City. Um, how long have you been using Colingo? Um, I think f I am using Colingo for a week. Oh, do you like Colingo? Yes, I like so much. Uh, me too. Uh, that's all, teacher. It's okay? All right. Yeah, good job, Jorge. Thanks. Um, and what you did good there was you kept the conversation going. You made some follow-up questions, and that's perfect. Good job, Jorge. All right. Carlos, why don't you introduce Miso, or why don't you uh, ask him where he's from, what does he do? Misa? Miso? No. Miso. No. No. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? How are you, Miss Miso? I'm fine, thanks. What about you? Fine, thanks. Where are you from? Originally from Egypt, but I'm living here in Kuwait. I'm working here too. In Kuwait. Oh. Nice. Uh, what do you do for a living? Mm. Actually, I'm working in the DHL company. I don't know if you've heard about it before. It's a postal mail company, DHL, it's a press mail. Okay. Do you like a lingo? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. That's that's all. I have been using this Lingo site for a while, and I like it. All right, good job, Carlos. Great work. Perfect. All right, Roberto, how's it going? Roberto. Hi. Hi, Roberto. How's it going? I'm fine, and you? Very good. Where are you from, Roberto? I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo City. All right. All right. And what do you do? Do you work, go to school? Yes, I, I'm working at uh, a tourney. All right. And uh, why do you want to learn English? Uh, I want to learn English for travel and for speak for all kinds of people around the world. All right. Sounds good. Where would you like to travel to? Yes, I, I'm going to Orlando, Florida in March. All right. All right. Well, glad to have you in class today, Roberto. Um, nice to meet you. All right. Alicia. How's it going, Alicia? Can you hear me? Hola, Alicia. 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 No tengas miedo. Maybe he didn't hear All it. Right. <laughs> All right. I guess um, she's not there or can't talk. Um, Juliana, all right, well, you got in. How about that? Yes, yeah, good evening. 
I'm happy to join your classes again. All right. What have you been doing since the last class? I was watching uh, Spanish classes and for beginners. A friend is starting with that, and I wanted to know how he handled it. Is is it right to say handle? Mm -hmm. How he handled it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks. All right. Well, how was the Spanish class? Wow, it was pretty good. He has amazing materials and images, and how his teaching is very, very, very. I'm impressed, really, about everything. How they make it so fast. It's very good, and I'm gonna start with that too um, this week. All right, you're gonna be teaching Spanish. Yes, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, nice to see you again, Juliana. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, today is a beginner vocab class. Um, sounds like everyone is a little advanced, but I guess we'll just have to give it a try. Uh, anyway, it may be basic. We'll just try to run through some stuff and maybe do some reading and some conversation things if it gets too easy. But also, if there's some beginners in class, we have to be patient for them because it is a beginner class. So today we're going to talk about vocabulary, about things around the house, describing our homes, describing things in our houses. So, um, Carlos, um, can you see the picture on my screen? Yes. In this first picture, what's number one? A wash. Ah. I picture yeah, number one. Yeah, picture A, but number one. What item is number one there? Where do where you wash the dishes? But I don't know how to say it in English. All right, Roberto. Do you know how to say that? Yes. It's a sink. Very good. A sink. Good job. Jorge, number two. Uh, number two. Uh, the kitchen. Yep. This whole thing is a kitchen. But what's this appliance <laughs> called here? It's under number two. Uh, okay. How would you say? I don't remember the name. All right, Juliana. Stuff. Number Stove. two, right? And yep. And what about the bottom part? What could we call that? This part down here. That's the stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not. Yeah. Yep. Oven. There's another. Yep. The that's oven, word. right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, because I guess technically it's a stove top is the part on the top, I guess technically, although we'd call that the stove, mm -hmm. but this, this stove also has an oven, which is the bottom part there. I knew All it, right. Dieter, but you know what's my pro my trouble in your class, you, so I'm you, so sorry. You got nervous. Yes. All right. Always. <laughs> All right, no problem. Hey. Um, Dan, Danny, yes. what about number three? Number three, number three is must be microwave, yeah. Yep, microwave. Very good. good. Yeah. Man, Manu, what's what are these wooden things uh, um, up above there? Uh, I don't remember the their names. All right, this is a tougher one. Miso, do you know what those are called? Number number four. You're asking me about number four. Uh, no, the wooden places where you put things. Uh, Which number? Uh, it's not the, a number. The wooden, the wooden a. A. Yeah. 
hangar? Um, nope. Um, Actually, I can't see it clearly. That's why. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll try to make a little bigger. Um, Roberto, do you know what the, these things are called? Um, where we put dishes and things like that in the kitchen? Yes, teacher. It's a cupboard. Very good. Cabinet. Cupboards. Oops. What I did there. Yep. Could be a cat a cabinet. We cabinet. normally say cabinet when it's not in the kitchen, but it's pretty much the same thing. But in, oh. when it's in the kitchen, we normally say cupboard. Cupboard. Okay. All right. Very good. And, and Carlos, number four. Re refrigerator. Yep, refrigerator. Or in English, a lot of times people say the fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Juliana, cupboards is not a. It's not a number. It's the wooden uh, parts here above, where you put dishes and things. No, thank no, you, teacher. No number for that. All right, um, Jorge. Yes. What about what about this white appliance in the corner here? Uh, shelter. What was that? Shelter. Mm, no. Uh, I am really bad in in parts of the kitchen, teacher. All right, no problem. Juliana, do you know what this is called? Number. Which one, teacher? Sorry. Not. No number. I'm going beyond the numbers now. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, this Hard. white. This white appliance, uh, kind of in the corner here, where my blue box is. I can see it clearly. And can you please ta take off the the blue part? Just yes. Uh, I don't know what is it. <laughs> Not even in Spanish. <laughs> Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Although, in other countries, I guess, the, those aren't as common. But now, in the United States, pretty much any apartment you rent will come with a dishwasher where you load dishes in there and it washes them for you. I know. All right. <laughs> so those, um, are all right. In, those are intelligent apartments. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, all right. A hard one. Uh, Juliana, let's see. What do you call this surface? Where all this all along uh, here, where they put stuff on top of it. No okay. word for this in Spanish, as far as I know. Because <laughs> I've tried to explain it to people in Spanish, and then there is no word. But um, the white part that goes all the way around. Anybody know what that's called? In Spanish, it's mesada. Uh, it could be ringer. Is maybe kitchen marble. This is called a uh, the counter. The counter. Counter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's an important word. In English, in the kitchen anyway, that's always called the counter. You put it on the kitchen counter. Counter or counter? Counter. Counter. Luc ah. Lucas, the counter is uh, the top here, uh, where they've put the plant is on top of the counter. This other thing is on top of the counter. All oh, this whole white part that goes around. All right. Very good. Lucas, where are you from, buddy? I'm from Colombia. What part of Colombia are you from? Medellin. Medellin. And do you work? Do you go to school? What do you do? I work. All right. And what kind of job do you have? We telecommunications. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's talk about this room. Lucas, what's this room called in the next picture here? 
living room. Very good. And Dan, number seven. Number seven, uh, this is the wall. Yep, could be the wall. Yeah. Um, Manu, what's next to number seven? The long thing there. Lamp. Yep, a lamp. Mm -hmm. Lamp. Very good. Teacher, are you sure? Hmm? Teacher, are yeah. you sure this is a beginner's classes? <laughs> kind of hard. <laughs> Well, there's lots of advanced students here, so mm -hmm. we'll make it. We'll have to make it a little tougher for you, Juliana. Okay, so. thank you. All right. Um, who is I on? Misu, number eight. Couch. Couch or sofa? Very good. Sofa. Mm -hmm. But couch. Um, I'd probably never say sofa. I would probably say couch, but couch yeah. or sofa. All right, Roberto, um, what's in the middle here? Um, what's in the middle of the room? Uh, it's a, a desk, but I... I think it's uh, having another name for a specific desk. Mm -hmm. Well, Carlos, do you know what the name is for this? Mm. Coffee table. Very good. Yeah. Coffee table. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, Jorge is on top of the coffee table. Uh, is for cigarettes. Yep. Astray. What's what's that called? Um. Uh, I don't know. Tang Mao. For for a million dollars, he knows it. Tang <laughs> Mao. Time off. <laughs> All right. Who knows what that? White Maybe thing me. Is. Ashtray? Right. Yep, ashtray. I'll take that out. Yeah. How, how, how can we write it, teacher? Ashtray. Ashtray. Thank you. So literally, uh, una bandeja para cenizas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ashtray. Ashtray. All right. Any questions on the living room? No uh, I, I have a question. For the lamp, we, can we call standing lamp or only lamp? For what? Um, lamp. The lamp. Oh. The lamp. Yeah, lamp. Is it standing uh, lamp or only lamp? I guess you could yeah. call a standing lamp, but I guess all lamps stand. Um, so you could probably say a tall lamp. Tall or, lamp, is it okay? Or a free, a freestanding lamp. You might be able to say that, but um, yeah. All right, but fine. this is the common, yeah. This is the common usage when say tall lamp, so everybody will know, yeah. 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 Thank you. All right. Any other questions on the living room? Uh, the paper and on the on the wall, so yeah, wallpaper, right? Yep, <laughs> wallpaper. Thank you. Wallpaper. Very good. And who are we on? Lucas. Um, yeah. What what is? Um, or are we on Juliana actually? Um, what is on the floor, Juliana? Floor in the floor. It's a tough floor. one. Yeah, but what is covering the floor? A carpet. Ceramica. Oh, uh, ceramic. Ceramic. <laughs> but we would, um, we would probably call those tiles. Ah, Tile. Okay, I didn't know it. Thank you yeah. so much. Tile. I, I'm going to give you all the hard ones, Julia. <laughs> uh, you you uh, want me to change? You want me to change my point of view that you are the best teacher in Colleen, all right? 
I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to lose my title. Um, so tech, but technically that would be ceramic tiles. So okay, yeah. thank you. All right, Lucas, what room is this? The bathroom. Very good. And uh, Lucas, what's this white um, thing in the where my blue box is? Mm, no, I can't remember. I don't know. Sink. Sink. Yep. Sink. Wash machine. Sink. No. <laughs> Sink. No wash machine. Huh? Danny, what is next to the sink here? Which one? <laughs> oh, this is soap this dispenser. Is... Yep. Or we could say hand soap. Yep. Hand soap. Hand Very soap good. dispenser. Can you write the chat, please? And soap. Soap. And soap. Oh. Soap for your hands. All right. <laughs> um, Manu, did I just ask you one or no? No. All right. No. Manu, what yeah. is hanging on the wall over here? Where? Ah, uh, yeah. Um. Um. Towel. Mm hmm. Yep. The towel. Very good. Very good. And Miso, what is the towel on? What's the towel hanging on? A hanger. Towel hanger. Yep. Um, there might be anyone know another word for that? It's kind of hard. Um, towel, towel holder. Rack. Towel, towel rack. Holder. Towel rack. Towel rack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Roberto, what's number 12? It is a, a shower. Very good. And Carlos, what is covering the shower here? Um, I don't know. Shower right. curtain. Very good. Shower curtain. Uh, Jorge, what would we call the bottom part of the shower here? Uh, the bottom part? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the bath? Yep, or bath. Tub. Bath tub. Okay. Bath tub. All right, Juliana. Mm -hmm. What? Um, would be a hard one. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, this will be. Let's see. Where does the water come out of? Up top. The water, where does the water come up? Come out of in the shower? Uh, I don't understand the question, teacher. The blue box, this pipe coming out of the top. Ah, yes. Uh, a tube? Yep, it is a tube. Oh, really? Uh, we also, <laughs> well, it is a tube, but we call it uh, the shower. Head. Shower oh. head. I think it's going to be right. logical uh, shower arm or something like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lucas, you want a tough one? Yeah. yeah. Maybe not so tough. What do you open the door with here? Uh, toilet paper? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> on, the, on the door. <laughs> Where? Turn to, to open the door. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I don't know what it <laughs> All right. Um, Danny, do you know what that is? Yes, uh, door handle. Very good. Door handle. And Manu, yeah. what is this uh, white throne called here? I can see it where. Uh, Inside there. <laughs> You know the all, all, all blue, blue. <laughs> uh, the rest <laughs> no no ah, okay Lisa. ah the to toilet toilet very toilet. good okay all right miso what is um sitting up here in the back of the shower in the back it's a uh, shampoo. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> That's good. Shampoo. Okay. Very good. Shampoo. It's hard to see. Okay. <laughs> Any questions on uh, the bathroom? Um, teacher, how can I say I don't remember that? Um, Tina. A uh, bathtub. A bathtub. Tina. Tina is a bathtub. Thank you so much. Uh, teacher, what is the difference uh, between sink and washing machine? A washing machine, you use a big no. machine that you wash your clothes in. And a no, sink no, no, is... no. Uh, no, no washing machine, wash basin. Wash basin. A wash basin is just yeah. bigger. It is normally in what we would call a laundry room, where you would do laundry. Oh, no. um, this is wash basin. Yeah. Yep, and they're normally bigger. Let's see. Teacher. Yep. Could you explain us which difference are there between restroom and bathroom, please? Um. There's really not much of a difference. Um, uh, I, I mean, I guess, although this is not official, I mean, restrooms are normally in public and a bathroom is in your house. Um, um, but really, they're kind of the same thing. You could, um, even if you're in someone's house, you could say, could I use restroom? Uh, the same as I could if I could use the bathroom. So restroom and bathroom um, is probably the same thing, but normally in a public place, you'd probably use the term restroom. But. Teacher, but I have a maybe question. Teacher. Uh, a sink in the bathroom is the same that a sink in the kitchen, or have another name? They're the same: bathroom sink or a kitchen sink. Okay. Uh, teacher, I think in the restroom uh, we don't have bathtub for bath, but in the bathroom we have a uh, bathtub and then the toilet also. But in the restroom, maybe only toilet. Uh, yeah, that might be technically correct, but people really wouldn't make that difference. Um, um, you know, like I said, even if you're in someone's house, if you say I need to use the restroom, you could go to the bathroom but, um, but technically in a dictionary that'd probably be correct that a bathroom has a bathtub and in a restroom doesn't but uh, people don't really differ differentiate in that way all right any other questions on the bathroom no question teacher we have learned enough about that <laughs> I think <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Clear, sure. yeah. Teacher. Moving on. Yep. <laughs> where where I can um, find this vocabulary? Mm. Uh, these pages um, we can't share with you because of copyright. Yes. But there's a number of websites um, okay. which I can try to get it at the end of class. Okay. Uh, normally in the one. class. On the class page or in the lobby, as we call it, normally they have some links there with the same subject. But at the end of class, I try to find some links uh, to uh, 
All right. Um, who were we on? Roberto? Roberto, what's this uh, room call? Me? Uh, diner room. Yep, dining room. Very good. Carlos, uh, number five. Table. <laughs> yep, or if we want to be more specific, we could say a dining room table. Um, it, we would also say kitchen table, dining room table, coffee table. Coffee table. Well, this isn't a coffee table, but there's different types of tables. But I would say dining room table or kitchen table. All right, Jorge. Um, Number six? Yep, six. <laughs> A chair. The chair, very good. <laughs> All right, Juliana, a hard one or an easy one? I don't With know. You. <laughs> Let's try. Hard? Hard. All right, what's down here at the bottom, what do we call? You're going to be an expert in floors by the end of class. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think so. Um... Come on, Juliana, you can. <laughs> no, you don't know. There is something in his classes and Mr. Lix's classes. I'm always get nervous. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who can help me? Don't tell Anybody? me, teacher. I want my my. Yeah, me, me maybe. Uh, wooden floor. Mm. It looks like wooden. Yeah. That, would, that wouldn't be the official term. Parquet floor. <laughs> teacher, parquet floor. Parquet. Oh, what floor? Parquet. 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 What? Yes. What's parquet? In uh, Spanish, it's called parquet. Parquet yes. floor. Oh. It's kind Look like of wood. wooden, yeah? We would call that a hardwood floor. Hardwood hard floor. floor. Hardwood floor. <laughs> hard <wood> floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but no, that is, everyone will recognize that term. Um, it's a, if you have hardwood floors, normally they're like this, they're very beautiful. It can be expensive, but they have a lot of fake ones now that where they just put a plastic thing on top that looks like hardwood, but these would be called hardwood floors. All right. Very good. Lucas, these are all kind of tough ones now. Uh, do you know what this big piece of furniture would be called? Mm. A, a closet, a cabinet? No, this is probably going to be a tough one. I would call that big piece of furniture that's only in a dining room where people put their dishes a buffet. Come but, oh, buffet. A cabinet, okay. maybe? Thanks. Uh, but this, when it's like this, it's pretty much what they're going to call it. It's like, but these are kind of out of style too. Well, I guess depends on. But they, I just remember all everyone's grandma in the United States one of these, and they weigh about a thousand pounds. They're very heavy, and yeah. <laughs> they're called the case. Or, My uh, grandma yeah. had one too, and she always uh, keep there, uh, keep in there. Their dishes from her marriage, her wedding. Mm -hmm. Ah, yep. until now, yeah. That's yeah. good. Silver, silver spoons, and their yes. china. In mm -hmm. China, <laughs> china cutleries. <laughs> uh, yeah, what well, they call it fine dishes, like china dishes, where they'd say your china fine dishes. china. That's where. Yeah. All right. Any questions on the dining room? Or are you sick of the dining? This is kind of a boring dining room, Bob. <laughs> Let's see. It's an old dining room. Hmm? It's not the modern dining room. Old, like no. classic, yeah? Classic. 
simple. Just yeah. like I like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny, what's this room called? Uh, this one is his bedroom. Very good. Maybe this will be a hard one for you. What's on top of this piece of furniture? Uh, this one looks like the bottle. <laughs> what is it? I can't I see. I can see me. <laughs> what train? What? What train? No. Ceramic, like artificial or what? This is called a vase or a vase. Oh, vase for the flower, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> nice. Manu. Mm. Yes. <laughs> number number ten. Ah, number ten. <laughs> the bed. Your favorite. <laughs> yes, the bed. <laughs> uh, yes, very good. Yes. I'll give you a harder one. What is on top of the bed? On top. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, or what is what is covering the bed? Mm, uh, Bang. Uh, <laughs> quilt. Oh, that's Blanket. that's a really old word. Uh, quilt is normally sewn by hand. This isn't really a quilt, but it could be a quilt. Blanket. There's another Maybe word. A bed for cover. Bed cover. A uh, comforter, a comforter would be kind of thicker, maybe. But I guess the word I'm looking for is bedspread. Shit. <laughs> bedspread. Bed bedspread. <laughs> Sobrekama <laughs> is a bedspread. No bedspread, no bed cover. <laughs> bedspread. Uh, bed All cover. right. Miso. Um. What is this piece of furniture beside the bed called? This piece of furniture. It's a comodino. What was that, I'm sorry? Is it comodino? Uh, couldn't quite make that out. Um, uh, Miso? Could you type that in the chat box, what you said? Okay. Oh, yep. Oh, that was the chat. An Arabic word. It's an Arabic word. If I type it down, would you understand? Mm hmm. If you want to type it out. Como. No. Up here in the other chat, I think. Miso. Uh, uh, I've never heard that word, comodino. Um, miso, but miso also. Okay. If you a couple boxes down where it says Colingo, if you click on there on the left side, uh, it should pop out a different chat box where everyone else is using the chat. Um, so it's called the Colingo chat. So I don't know if you could try to mm -hmm. find that. So, anybody else know what um, this piece of furniture is called? Maybe side table. Could be a uh, uh, a side it's, table. Go ahead, Juliana. Isn't the night table? A night stand. Night stand. <laughs> or a bed stand. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Or I guess it could be a night table too, but well, uh, they probably say nightstand would be pretty common, or a bed stand. Okay. But, all right, and who are we on now? Roberto. 
What is under the number nine? I don't know, teacher. All right. No problem. Carlos? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Jorge? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> teacher. All right. Juli Juliana will save the Juliana. day. Juliana. Which one, teacher? Sorry. Below number, 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 number nine. nine. Number this nine. This big piece of furniture. God damn it, sorry. Um. Come on, Juliana. You can. <laughs> I think it is a, a close rex. Sorry, I don't remember. Lucas? Uh, Wardrobe? Yummy. Danny? Wardrobe? Uh, cabinet? Nope. Manu? A piece <laughs> of porcelain? No. No. <laughs> no. Number nine. <laughs> it's just called a, a dresser. What is yes. dresser? Dresser. Dresser. Uh, with all these different boxes, or these would be called a dresser drawer. Yeah. You, you, oh. uh, we uh, save our clothes there. Yep. This is uh. for your clothes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And anybody like this bedroom? Yes, I like it. Which one? I can't see it. The number no, the D. bedroom. The bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay for rest, but it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's not awesome. All right. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It will be better with a TV and a computer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. AC, what yeah? is this? What is this called up top, where the air comes in? Air condition. Mm, Ventilation. Nope. Oh, the, the yep. That's kind of what we call that a vent. Vent. Uh, the place where. You would install an, a vent so the air conditioning can come into the room through the vent. All right. Any questions on the bedroom? Uh, what is the size of the bed? Uh, that is probably a queen size bed. Is it a is it a carpet in in the in the floor on the floor? Looks on like the floor. Carpet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think carpet, yeah. Yep. Teacher? Yep. Okay, um, thank you. In the United States, uh, the the clothes that they use for covering the bed have a different name that in other uh, that in another country. Um for all I know it's the same. The the thinner uh, parts are called sheets, uh, which go underneath. There could also mm -hmm. be a blanket, mm -hmm. uh, but the bigger parts that are on top is the bedspread. The bedspread, uh, okay. Thank you. Is the big thing on top, but the sheets are the thinner blankets, I guess you'd call in between. All right. Any questions? No, thank you. All no right. question, teacher. Me neither. All right. Well, um, Jorge, yes. what's your room like? Uh, my room. Mhm. Mm your bedroom. What's it like? Uh, it's a small room with a bed. Um. An dresser. Um, on the dresser, I have a TV. And next, next to the dresser, I have a table where I put my books and I study there. All right. Do you have cable TV or just an antenna? Cable TV. 
All right. Do you have carpet or or what type of floor? Yeah. Well, I use a carpet when when it's winter here, but now in summer is without carpet, only with with a floor of I don't know what kind of English. Cement. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Probably cement. Yes. Or tile. Tile. Maybe. Juliana. Teacher. Do you have your own room, or do you share your room with one of your sisters? Um, we used to sleep together with my sister, and but she has all her stuffs in in other place because we share an enormous. I don't know how to say it, the the big uh, the biggest bed. King size. Use king size. Oh, the king size. Exactly, the king size. And we have that. Oh, I have that. Since we are a child, we always shared the bed. Not this bed, but we always we grow up sharing the bed. And I have a bed. My oh, come on. ¿Cómo se dice ropero? Where you put uh, your clothes? Dress. Dresser. Uh, dresser. Uh -huh. My dresser, a table where I study. I have, teacher, how can I say repisa? Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, that um, is a kind of wood that you put uh, for the, for the, for the, uh, yes. Okay, and I'm gonna hanger? No, it's not a hanger. It's <laughs> it's like a table, but it's like no, no, it's not a table. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. It's yeah. what you put uh, by the Book? wall. No, the by the wall, shelf. and oh. shelf. Exactly. I have shelves. Shelf. Where oh. Shelves where I used uh, where I put all my books. I have my equipo de sonido. Uh, your boom box or what? What do we call it in English? <laughs> uh, your radio or, or CD player. Uh, yes, exactly. Everything, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Right. And what else is there? By now it's just that my books, the shelves, the table, the bed, um, mirror maybe. Mirror. No, yeah. I have a mirror in other place and it's big one because. ¿Cómo se dice según? As the Feng Shui says, uh, you shouldn't have a mirror in your room, and I oh, like Feng Shui. Feng Shui. I love. Feng Shui. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Why why shouldn't you have yeah, a mirror in your room according to Feng, Feng Shui? Shui. Yeah. Feng Shui because it reflects yourself or other people and it means there are more than one and when there is many people uh, it's like uh, how can I say tumulto is when there is noisy where, where is there ah oh, sorry <laughs> <It's like Sorry. laughs> Tur turmoil. <laughs> Sorry. Turmoil. Reflection or what? No. What, let's say if if there is many people, there is soundly. It's like sounds. Let's Com say commotion. People, commotion. Thank you, teacher, for your patience. And <laughs> and and according to Feng Shui, the room should be up quiet place where there is no distractions and uh, Silent, I know that it, yeah. yes I know there is my sound music or uh, my radio whatever but it just <laughs> should be covered if you are going to have in your room uh, for example and the mirror I don't I don't like to have covered the mirror it should be look at but it just <laughs> have to put in another place I know. I okay. I miss up. I can't explain correctly in English what I'm missing. Oh, you did great, Juliana. Don't I be nervous. I feel terrible. Thanks God, I don't have a, a webcam in front of me of, of my. <laughs> Why? That's fine. You're good, you know. So how yeah. you can make up your your face if without the mirror? No, no, no. I'm red right now. 
I became uh, blush. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Lu Lucas, uh, how would your room like, Lucas? Uh, my room, I have my bed uh, next to the, the the bed. I have a armchair. In front right. of my in front of my bed, I have my TV. Uh, my closet, and that's it. What kind of floor do you have? Do you have carpet? No, normal floor. All right. Tile. Tile or cement? Or ceramic? Uh, ceramic. All right. Very good. Last vocab question for the day. What do we call two beds on top of each other, like in this room? Uh, what's this? Double two bed? bed. Double bed or what? <laughs> nope. Anybody know? Bon? Who said that? Manu. Manu, what'd you say, Manu? Bon? I heard it. Almost bunk beds. <laughs> Bunk, Bunk bed. Bunk, Bunk bed. bed. Samira, twin right. bed refers to the size of the mattress, um, which is bigger than a single bed. Single bed, twin bed, um, but we call those bunk beds. Teacher, mm -hmm. where bunk comes from? Bunk. A uh, bunk. Uh, I'm not sure. A bunk house is uh, where people sleep. Um, I'm not sure where that came from. Bunk. Uh, those, those are definitely bunk beds. So. <laughs> has, <laughs> has, bad, has, anyone, has anyone ever had bunk beds, or does anyone have bunk beds now? No. No. I used to, no. to I used to sleep uh, in my friend's house, and he has a bank, bank bed. All right, I grew up sleeping in a bunk bed. But I'm surprised in um, South America I don't really see any bunk beds when normally there's a lot of people and stuffed in one house, but. It creates a lot of space when you just stack the beds on top of each other. <laughs> well, maybe it'll catch on.